So we've been looking forward to this uh, this day for the last 12 months. Yeah, ever since. So 364 days ago, we've been planning, planning hard, planning hard for 364 days. Our and, uh, time has come. Our time. This is our moment. We are we are excited. I thought the first year I was um, Father Christmas. I went box and I thought I got to do something different. So uh, yeah, I just thought something, yeah, something new, something different, something exciting. I got my mate there. He's a copper, so he's gonna be chasing me. <laughs> you won't catch me though. It's quite a difficult tour to follow. Many miles involved, uh, many behind the hours, um, setting up and packing down. We normally start. Um, we we have to start by finding a suitable lay-by, and we um, normally commence the build at about. Um, uh, seven o'clock in the morning. We're offering the cyclists who brave, who are brave enough to come out um, and see us this week a chance to warm themselves up with a hot cup of tea, coffee and a piece of cake. Well we're here to run a Watt Bike Challenge with uh, Skoda and uh, we're on the Skoda activation area on the King of the Mountains in, on Kafili Mountain today and it's a bit damp isn't it? It's, it's a touch damp, but it hasn't dampened our spirits, Alistair, has it? No, it hasn't. That's very good. I like that. <laughs> uh, we're encouraging people to do a 750 metre challenge, uh, which is uh, all about maintaining a, a good level of power over that distance. That's three times around an indoor velodrome, so it's not a sprint, obviously. I'm glad you qualified that. Yeah. So yes, and it's nice to see all the good people of the Caffili area coming out and travelling in from quite a distance away. We've got people coming in from Bath. Um, for a bit further north and down Somerset area to see the uh, mountain stage. Who are we supporting? Bradley Wigan. Wiggle. Wiggle. Quintana. Wiggle. 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 Bradley Wiggins, Bradley Wiggins. Bradley Wiggins. Yeah. Wiggle, of course. Dad, Cavendish. Dad, <laughs> Wiggle. Uh, Wiggle and Cav, probably. I've done Tour of Britain um, quite a few years now for various teams and stuff and this is the first time I sh actually shot this section. Just wanted to see the crowds and see all the characters. It's fantastic the amount of support that um, we get for all the riders because you know they've been pouring their hearts out and it's great to get all the cheers as they come up the hill and everything. You'll get all the police bikes uh, come through, close the road down, then you get the NEG riders which make sure it's, um, it's totally closed. Then you'll get the lead car with Carl, who's the guy that goes uh, yeah, around announcing you, telling you what's happening in the race. Then you'll get uh, a few more bikes, yeah. <laughs> and then you'll start getting the lead procession, and then about sort of like 10 minutes after Carl, then you'll start seeing the race coming through, and then it'll suddenly be, after all that um, anticipation, it'll be gone in a flash, but it'll be fantastic. Yeah, just rocked up 20 minutes ago, and everyone's uh, getting behind it now. It's uh, guys with outfits and things. It's, yeah, it's got Tour de France fever, definitely. <laughs> I think I uh, rode seven or eight times in ten years the Tour of Britain, so to come as a spectator is different, so I'm going to enjoy it and then get back training in the next few days. It is brutal, yeah, the first bit's steep and then it gets steeper and then... But once you get to hear the crowd, the crowd gets you over it. I remember last year I'd sort of done my bit for JT at the bottom and pulled the pin, so... If you're pulling the pin, then you've still got to get up it, but racing, it's pretty brutal. And it's almost one of those stages where they can walk alongside the riders, so uh, we're just anticipating the fancy dress boys coming out. I don't know. If I start running into people, tell me and I'll take it off. I'll arrest you. Yeah, he'll, he'll arrest me. Uh, Moldy, John Mould, hopefully if I can find him. He should be about three or four minutes behind everyone else going up the hill, so should be easy to spot. Everyone's dressed up and yeah, everyone's you know got the Welsh flag out. It's big spirit. The and sun's it's, out. The now, sun's come so. out. Yeah, it was raining before, so it's nice. Everyone's uh, getting behind the cyclists. I never realised how hard this climb was, but yeah, it looks so hard. Yeah. Just the fact that it's yeah. all strung out. Yeah, it you can see. Must be just painful. Yeah, I think if the atmosphere is like this, then the riders, you know, when it's wall-to-wall -wall noise, it sort of takes the pain away. So.
Uh, we did catch Moldy and he wasn't four minutes behind, he was about 30 seconds behind. So he's having a bit of a ride at the moment, seeing as it's his uh, home stage. Showboat. Showboat, isn't he? He's only, uh, he only lives about 10 miles away. Good. Oh. Absolutely fantastic. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, very fast. And the best thing was that we were so close to him. And we um, had the best way of cheering because we were at the front. I just couldn't run. <laughs> right, it, the second time they came up, everybody pushed forward so I couldn't see a thing. Everything better. Fans, closeness, the atmosphere, like just the noise of it and just epic. And to come and spectate today was great and the atmosphere was unbelievable. The noise and I think I might have dislocated my shoulder getting too excited there again, but, but no, it's a great day and I think, uh, yeah, obviously. There's been a great winner there today, so...